sure you can't see me here, but I'm at one of my, it's, well, it's fast becoming one of my favorite places to take photographs. It's in Northampton. It's a few hundred yards from my house. It's a place called Delapree Abbey. I don't know why I'm breathing so hard. I've only walked about 400 yards. But, um, I was promised by the weather that it'd be light cloud, but it's not light cloud. Pretty overcast. But I did see a band of orange over there a little while ago, so there might be a bit of colour. Can you see the abbey poking through the trees there? We'll see what becomes of that later. But just here, the abbey's there. And just beyond the abbey, there's a big lake, which I've photographed before. But I was out a little while ago with the wife and we walked over here and we found this smaller lake. Um, hopefully I can try and, if I get my big lens on, 70 to 200, to try and compress some of the distance between the lake and the abbey and see if I can get the abbey not fully in the shop, but sort of in between the trees, if you know what I mean. So, I'm gonna try and do that. You can probably hear the traffic, we're right next to the main road here, look. But saying that, it's 20 past four in the morning. So, I'm gonna look around for a composition here, and I'll get back to you when I found one. Okay, in a bit. Right, well I've found a composition. And um, what I've done is, I've got my um, tripod set up here, a little bit lower than I would like. But that's only because I want to frame, make a gateway into the photo if you like, from these two plants here. Don't know what they are, they're plants. I'm framing that, that's my gateway in. The pond is lovely and smooth. Couldn't wish for a smoother pond. There's a bit of crap in it, <coughs> which is affecting it a bit. Um, but I'm focused on the abbey, which is right over there. Um, I'm taking that as infinity, so I'm just focused on that. Hopefully something's gonna happen here. Um, I don't know that much hope. The sun is due up in 15, 20 minutes or so. Didn't bring my phone, so I can't check photographers ephemeris. But yeah, the sun's due up in 15 or 20 minutes. I'm gonna take a couple of test shots, just to see if I got my focus right. Just to see if it looks okay on the back of the camera. But that's it. Um, I've got a gateway leading into it. I'll show you on the back of this here. See, I've got a gateway leading in. I've got framing on either side of the composition. Um, I've got the pond as my mid ground. Nice smooth surface, you should get some reflections on it. I'm focused on the abbey, just on the corner of the abbey. I've got these big trees on either side of it. So, yeah, let's wait for a bit of light. Let's see if it happens. Hopefully, all these. Ducks and swans, it must be mating season. Hopefully they don't mess up my reflections. Uh, okay, so, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. By the way, <coughs> how do you like the new voice? Sounded a little bit better, yeah? Yeah? I sound like Brian Blessed, compared to what it was. I was hoping, when they did the operation, that, um, I didn't come back sounding like Joe Pasquale, but I don't. I sound like Brian Blessed, and I'm loving it. I can shout, I can raise my voice a little bit now. I can project. Hello, 
me. Taking a couple of test shots. And they're coming out okay. There's not a lot of colour in them because there's not a lot of colour about. Uh, I'm at an F16 at uh, shooting at four seconds, F16, four seconds, ISO 100. They're coming out okay. Um, I'm just looking around for another composition right now. But there's not that many here, if I'm honest. You can see the sun coming up now. There is some colour coming. Look over there. That's where the sun's coming up. The Abbey's just here. I'm set up just there, look. The Abbey's just here. So there is some colour coming. It's kind of strange over there, actually. But I'm looking around for another composition, see if I can shoot directly into the sunrise. Actually, might look, it looks okay here. Look here, you've got the reeds. Got a, again, you've got a bit of a gateway into the photo. You still see the abbey through the trees. We might be able to get the sun rising as well. But I'll come further back, still with the 70 to 200 on, just to try and compress some of the distance between the lake and the abbey. It might work out all right. I might move my composition. I might take another couple up there first but I'll move down here and see how we go. Okay, in a bit. Okay, well I have moved, I have changed composition now. And what I've done is, I can run down and show you. Down here, I've got this sort of on the, the left, bottom left of the composition as foreground. <coughs> foreground, I'm not putting in. So it's a little gateway, a little entrance into the photo. Got some yellow flowers dying at the top here and some reeds across the top. All this is foreground here. In the mid-ground, you've got the lake at the back. The pond, just there. That's going to be mid-ground. You've got more reeds further over there. In the distance there, you can see the abbey. I've focused on the abbey, locked it off on that. That's going to be your main focal point. Well, I say my main focal point. I want that to be prominent in the image. It's in the top right of the rule of thirds, if you know what I mean. And we have got some colour coming in the sky. I didn't think it would happen, but there you go. The cloud's looking quite good. I've got a time lapse running over there on my other GoPro. But yeah, that's the photo, that's the image. I've got the 70 to 200 on. Um, See, it's about 10 metres away from you here. And this is the first part of the image, the bottom, the foreground of the image. So it's about 10 metres away. It's on a slight little rise up there. Uh, the golf course is just there, metres away. One of the tees is just over there. But this is all part of Delapree Abbey. It's just been redone. Um, so yeah, let me tell you my settings. I am at ISO 100. I'm bracketing two shots either side of even. Um, I'm bracketing at one and a third either side and then one stop after that. Don't know why I do that. Somebody said that's the best way to do your bracketing shots. Whether it is or not, I don't know. But that's how I do it now. Uh, yeah, ISO 100, bracketing and I'm at F18 and I'm getting a shot of two seconds. Obviously that'll change with the bracketing. Uh, so yeah, let's do it before this light disappears. There you go. I've got the 10 second timer on only because I've got that big lens on um, and I'm not comfortable with my tripod. It's a Manfrotto B3 travel tripod. I'm not comfortable with it, it might shake about a bit. So I'll put the 10 second timer on just to try and alleviate some of that. So yeah, the shots are brewing up now. Um, if it's any good, I'll put them up here all right now. So 
yeah, I think I'm done here. I'm going to go down to them rhododendrons, those rhododendrons, because hopefully the sun is up. And I want it to peep through that gap in the clouds and hit the rhododendrons. So yeah, that's going to be the next shot, I think. I'm going to do that call it a day. I'm going to have a breakfast this morning with the wife. So yeah, in a bit. GoPro and it's voice controlled. It's weirding me out. I tell it to start recording. It starts recording. Anyway, I digress. As you can see, I've moved. I'm pretty sure they're not rhododendrons. If they are, I apologise. If they're not, I apologise for calling them rhododendrons, but I'm pretty sure they're not. Anyway, this is my scene. Not rhododendrons. Abbey. Trees, sunrise. It's looking quite good, is it? Better competition, I'm com competition, better composition. I'm focused. If you look through there, that's the front door of the abbey there. Um, I'm focused on that. Lock the focus off. Uh, I've had to underexpose it by a stop and a third because looking at the histogram, the highlights were peaking so bad. So I've to pull it right back, a stop and a third. I haven't got any filters on. I've got filters with me, but I'll be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing with filters until someone can tell me what I'm doing with them. Then I'll start using them. But yeah, that's pretty much why I haven't brought expensive filters. I've got cheap filters. I say cheap, they're mid-range filters. But that's why I haven't used them because don't really know what I'm doing with them, so I'll continue to bracket my shots. I'm told you don't really need filters if you're bracketed anyway. And I seem to get by. I take okay photos. But yeah, that's my photo at the moment. Doing it like that. Rhododendrons, not rhododendrons. Ave, trees, sunrise. It's looking good. Sort of me. Again, it, it all seemed to be about gateways into the photo today. We seem to have a gateway through and round into the abbey here. Okay, I'll just run by my settings then. And with our F11, I brought it down a bit. Try and control them highlights. In fact, I think I can turn the highlights up a bit now. Yeah, turn it up a little bit. I'm underexposing by Two thirds. Two thirds now, it's looking good. Okay, I'm gonna take the shot before I lose the lot. I mean, look behind me, look. Look at that. Nothing but blue sky in front of me. Nothing but cloud. Typical, <laughs> typical. Anyway, bracketing again. I'll let you know who comes out right now. again um, I've changed my lens I've put the 70 to 200 back in the bag I've got the 24 to 105 out because I, the sky is starting to do stuff and I didn't want to miss it it's colors happening and all that nothing happening over here behind me in the blue sky although you probably can't see but there's a hazy band which would have been nice over here, catching colour. But colour's happening over here now. Shit's happening. So I'm going to bracket the photos. I 
again I've got the rhododendrons, not rhododendrons, on the right hand side of the frame. The abbey, probably dead centre, but I've included, instead of having the abbey on the top third, I've got the abbey down on the bottom third now. So I'll include more of that sky in the frame, so I'm going to take the shot. 10 second time and again I could probably take that off now, I've took the other lens off. Yeah, F11, I'm getting exposure of 40th of a second, ISO 100. And if that's any good, I'll put it up right now in a bit. So that's about it from me then for today. Found one last composition, and this this is an oak tree. Oak tree. It's an oak tree. I'm calling it. Underneath this oak tree, again, looking at the abbey. The sun's coming up. I'm just going to take one more because the sun is beaming through there. Probably see it on my face. Can never resist one more shot. Bracketing again. <coughs> uh, the sun is right above the abbey here. We've got that. Um, but yeah, I'll put that up now. That's just um, a little extra photo, shall we say. Yeah, that's it for me today. I'm gonna go home now. My feet are cold. The grass is soaking fecking wet. Uh, my feet are cold. I'm gonna walk over there. There's a car park over there. I'm gonna walk down the road. My car is just a little way over there. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed my new voice. My booming Brian Blessed voice. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to call it done and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Ta-ra! The beat. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>